Thor films are easily the most disjointed mini franchise within the huge MCU franchise. It's the only series that has a different director for each chapter. Each brought their own flavor to their movie. Kenneth Branagh add an almost Shakespearean feel to the first Thor's rather bland script. For reference, watch his Hamlet. Alan Taylor add his blandness to Thor The Dark World's bland script. See Terminator Genesis. And now we have Taika Waititi adding his considerable comic towns to Thor Ragnarok's overcrowded bland script. See What We Do in the Shadows. Nick, are you a virgin at all? Mm, what? I think we drink virgin blood because it sounds cool. I think of it like this. If you were going to eat a sandwich, you would just enjoy it more if you knew no one had fucked it. And it was a blast. The film is about the fall of Asgard's ruler, Odin, Anthony Hopkins. With his fall comes a power vacuum where one would assume Thor, Chris Hemsworth, would step into the void. But then comes Hela, Kate Blanchett. She has a claim to the throne more valid than Thor's. The people of Asgard do not care about this claim and reject her. For many reasons, not the least of which being that Hela is the goddess of death and has no problem with murder. Unfortunately, Hela has enough power that without Odin she can easily take Asgard without the support of anyone. Thor Thor seeks to stop Hela, but finds himself stranded on the alien world Sakaar. See comic book arc Planet Hulk. On the other side of the known universe, Thor must find a way back to Asgard and a way to defeat Hela and take his father's throne. I could easily spend the whole review bringing up the clumsy storytelling here. There are essentially two barely connected stories here that don't fully merge. There's a fantasy story of Hela taking Asgard, and the sci-fi story of Thor becoming a gladiator and fighting to get Hulk, Mark Ruffalo, to walk away from smashing and help him retake Asgard. There's a decent chunk of the beginning spent covering the cliffhanger of the Dark World, where Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, helps Thor find Odin on Earth. It really doesn't connect to the core story at all, and it all feels like just necessary steps we're going over just to get to the real story. However, I can't say I didn't have a blast watching this movie clumsily hit its story points as they come up. This is probably the most comedic the MCU has ever been, which I'm certain its detractors will jump on. YTT clearly knows comedy, and used his skills to their fullest here. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't hear any thunder, but out of your fingers, was that like sp sparkles? Is Thor Ragnarok the best MCU movie? Absolutely not. Is it the best Thor movie? Absolutely. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 